Henry, James, and Gordon were miserable. They've been shut up for almost a week because of their silly strike, and by then they now felt sorry for themselves, and really wanted to be allowed to pull trains again. At last, Sir Toppin had came to see them. I hope you three are sorry now, and understand that every job on my railway is always important. We have a nice new green tank engine named Percy, who he and Pinkie Pie help shunt coaches and freight cars in the yard at Nanford, and occasionally pulls trains for us. And Thomas and Edward, along with Twilight and Applejack, have worked the main line from Timbuk to Vickerstown very well. But I will let you out this time, if you promise to behave yourselves and try your best. Yes, sir! Oh yes, we will! Very good. But please remember that this no shunting nonsense must stop. Yes, sir. He then told Thomas, Edward, and Percy, along with their ponies, that they can go play on the Farquhar branch line for a few days. And they ran off to find Annie and Clarabelle at Nafford. The two coaches were pleased to see Thomas and Twilight again. Edward, Applejack, Percy, and Pinkie Pie were playing with freight cars and were shunting them into their proper sightings. Stop! 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 But the four friends just left and continued shunting until the cars were tidily arranged. Next, Edward and Applejack took some empty freight cars to the Anofa Quarry. Percy and Pinkie were left alone, but they didn't mind that at all really. They liked watching trains and being cheeky to their friends. They teased them to pick up the pace, but they all got very annoyed. Phew! After a great deal of shunting at Wellsworth, Percy and Pinky were waiting for the signalman to set the points so they can get back to Natford. They were both eager to work, but were being a little careless and not paying attention. Earlier, Edward had given the two a bit of advice before they left for their shunting duties. Be careful on the main line. Whistle to the signalman that you are there. But Percy didn't remember to whistle, even though Pinkie Pie would have reminded him about it. But she forgot too because she had other things in her mind at the moment. So the busy signalman had forgotten that they were there. I'm so bored. Is that signalman going to let us through or not? Because I want to get back to Napford Station and buy all those cupcakes from the food shop! Creamy, creamy frosting! So they waited and waited. The points were still against them so they couldn't move to the other track. Then when they looked along the main line, it happened. Pinky, are you feeling okay? Don't worry, Percy Worsey. That was just my pinky sense. Oh, uh, what's a pinky sense? Then Pinky explained to her friend all about her pinky sense. Oh, now I understand. But when you did the last one, what did it mean? That shutter I did means a doozy, which means something unexpected is going to happen. But where? It's going to happen... to us! At Wildwood Station! Ah! And that's where we are! Within that moment, Percy whistled in horror for rushing straight towards them, was born in Rainbow Dash with a wild Norwester. Oh! Get out of my way! Oh! When Percy and Pinky finally opened their eyes, Gordon had stopped with Percy's buffers a few inches from his own. Pinky Pie, are you and Percy all right? We are now. Thanks for your brave attempt to stop us. I think we should... Uh, Pinky, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but why is Percy still shaking? That his wheels are actually turning? What? And she was right. Percy's wheels were turning. He was so startled that he began to move. ran straight through Wellsworth Station and was so frightened that he ran right up Gordon's Hill without stopping.
After a while, he was getting tired, but he couldn't stop. He didn't have Pinky on board to shut off steam and apply his brakes. As he approached the Sudry station, he was more tired than ever. Help me! I want to stop! A man on duty in the signal box saw that Percy was in trouble, so they kindly diverted him off the main line. Percy puffed wearily onto a nice empty siding, ending in a big bank of dirt. He was too tired now to care where he was. I want to stop! Where's Pinky? Why would you need her? Wait, I have stopped. Woo! Just then, Pinkie Pie came roaring towards him like a bolt of lightning. And like Percy, she was tired too because she tried to catch up with him since Wellsworth. Never mind, Percy. You shall have a drink and some coal, and then you'll feel better. Moments later, Gordon and Rainbow Dash arrived to help out. Well done, Percy. You started so quickly that you stopped a nasty accident. Yeah, if Gordon hadn't shouted about you, me and Pinky would have been in Ponyville Hospital for weeks. I'm sorry that Pinkie Pie and I were cheeky to you two and the others. And Rainbow Dash, you were very close to stopping us your time. Then Gordon and Rainbow Dash helped pull Percy out of the bank. The two engines are now good friends. Percy and Pinkie Pie are now more careful when they go on the main line. 